shortly after that, I guess in 2009, you're announced as a contestant on season two of RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, I had also heard that you actually auditioned for season one. Is that true? Uh, I did the online race. So back then, um, they had an online situation where you uploaded pictures and videos of yourself and then the public could vote for who they liked. And then um, every so many days or once a week, they would cut a whole bunch of girls um, from the competition online. Uh, whoever was the top at the end of that online race got a bid to uh, be on the show, just off of just internet. And so I think season one, Nina Flowers got it. Um, and, but I was on the last page. So I made it all the way to the end. But um, I never sent in an actual audition tape. I was just doing the online stuff. But uh, afterwards, I kind of realized that I wouldn't have gotten it either way because I was only 20. And because it was still sponsored by Absolute, you had to be 21. So, you know, but I tried. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you end up getting on season two of Drag Race. Where were you when you got the phone call that was like, Tatiana, you get to be on season two? I was at my best friend Valentina's house. Not that Valentina, a different one. Um, <laughs> I was at her house and um, I had already gone through a few of the preliminary interviews. I had done my psych test and they called me to let me know I got it. They're like, you can't tell anyone. Meanwhile, like Valentina's in the room. She knows what's happening. So I was like, okay. And then we hung up and we screamed and jumped on the bed and then I called everyone that I knew <laughs> and told them what I was doing. <laughs> so you get on the show. Did you enjoy your time on season two? Uh, yes and no. It was a very, I mean, I was 21. I was like young and dumb. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just like, this is such an experience. It was my first time on a plane by myself. It was my first time doing a lot of stuff. Um, so in that sense, it was great because it was a learning experience and I did have fun learning the ropes of like how TV's made and, you know, interview, like, I don't know, it was, that stuff was fun. A lot, a lot of my time there was a little like very stressful, lots of tears on my part. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess some of the social interactions weren't the best because I don't think I'd ever been in a situation like that, you know what I mean? Certainly never competed for anything. And uh, I never really, because I wasn't a big part of a drag community. By that point, when I got on the show, I had done my first drag show and then two more. And that was it. So like, I didn't have drag queen friends. I just knew like three drag queens <laughs> that I'd worked with a couple of times. So like, that was a lot to take on all at once. But um, yeah, overall, I find it to be a positive experience. And one of the non-positive experiences was, you know, there was a little bit of a little cat fight between you and then Tyra Sanchez. I asked her to stop nicely. And she's like, okay. And then I walk across the room and it's like, bah, 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 bah. she was almost saying, shit, or I'll make you shit up. Uh, there was a big rumor that was going around the internet that production actually shut down. Is that true? Uh, no, not really. Um, no, when me and Tyra had our big screaming match in each other's faces, you know, whatever. Uh, filming had already ended for the day. They had just given us extra time on set to work on our wedding dresses. Um, that whole screaming match happened when I don't think any producers were actually in the room. I think there was like maybe one PA. And then, um, then they rushed in with like a handy cam. Like it wasn't one of the big cameras. It was like a little camera. I guess just to catch anything that might be deemed entertaining or useful. But by that time, they had asked us to separate. And then it was just kind of like, you know, do your own shit and don't talk to each other. So they didn't really shut down production because we weren't filming when that happened. We were just on set. 